Hello, hello. Okay, another research topic here. As many of you know, I am getting ready to do another research study, and this one is on buteco breathing and tinnitus. And buteco breathing, I'm really looking at as probably a really effective way to manage the stress and anxiety associated with tinnitus. Buteco breathing has been around for many years, and it's really used for management of asthma, respiratory problems, increasing the immune system, facial structure. So in children, if they don't breathe properly, you'll have a face like mine that's super long. Um, it helps with sleep apnea, snoring, increased immune system, reduced colds and allergies, better sex life, all sorts of things. So, um, so no negatives from participating in this, but hopefully it'll help you as well better manage the stress associated with your tinnitus. For this study, there are a few questionnaires to fill out. Um, I would like to have a copy of your most recent audiogram just so I can differentiate, you know, where you are as far as hearing loss. Um, but hearing loss itself does not disqualify you from any any part of the study um, and it will require about two and a half one and a half to two hours on saturday october 23rd so in about two weeks two, one and a half to two hours on sunday october 24th let me just double check those dates mm, excuse me that would be the 22nd and 23rd and then again on the 30th which is a the 29th and the 30th um, so two hours each day I know it's a long time but I'm trying to cram a lot into a little bit and then I would like you to practice what I am teaching you for about 30 minutes a day you can kind of divide it up throughout the day but I really want this to become sort of second nature for you. So to practice for 30 minutes a day for two weeks, then you'll complete a questionnaire at the end. So it's a really just a two week research project. Um, so Saturday and Sunday, and then the following Saturday and Sunday, it'll be sort of mid morning um, based on where everyone's calling from. I'll kind of try and figure out the best way to, to do the Zoom call to make it easy for you. Um, and then the only people that don't qualify for this, unfortunately, would be those that have COPD or um, severe respiratory issues. I just prefer to be in person with that versus Zoom just in case. If you're interested, I've included a link for a Google Doc just to send to me or you can email me and let me know you're interested. I do again require that you have a recent hearing test I'm looking for 20, 30 people somewhere in there. So um, that's it. If you have questions, shoot me an email or comment below. Thanks.